skating homie um me growing up in the projects you know it's tough around there so I, I just wanted to be able to do something positive with we it. don't want to hear that whiny shit about how it was tough man where you from bro I'm from the Bronx you look like you're from East Los Angeles though bro Thanks, you, know that? Yeah. you really do you look like a fucking cholo let me fix your collar here <laughs> when you first got on that skateboard describe the feeling of ecstasy that you felt uh, well I dropped in and I don't know, I just knew I wanted to do that for like the long time after that. <laughs> I got stoked, man. That's all I can say. I got stoked. And the feeling is one of a kind. It, you can't compare it to another, am I right? Yeah, it's definitely one of a kind. You lose yourself. It's not like walking in on your mom, going to the bathroom. No way, man. It's nothing close to that. Okay. <laughs> I saw you walking away from the pizza. Not a big fan? No, I love pizza. Huh? So, I'm, I'm Italian. I'm Italians love it pizza. It was all the black people, right? No, nah, negative. My friends come in colors like Skittles. Where you from, bro? Brooklyn. Whereabouts in Brooklyn? Midwood. Exactly. How you know? Midwood! Mr. Gargoyle, what's up, man? What got you into skateboarding, my brother? Um, just being really crazy when I was younger and just like not really giving a fuck about what people said. My brother did as well. My brother taught me how to skateboard when I was like 12. Where are you from, bro? From uh, Connecticut, but I live here now. All right, man. Yeah. You came here to skate. Where in Connecticut? Ah, uh, Fairfield. Fair enough. A lot of malls out there. Yeah. Where, yeah. where do you live now? I live in the Lower East Side. My man. Where'd you get the name Gargoyle from? Um, my mom gave me the name because I protect her and had the, my brother moved out and I was the only man in the house. So I was like, you know, chilling on the top, guarding. I didn't want to walk to yoga anymore, so I was like, what's the next best thing? Floating on a wheel, on some cardboard and in, in, in the sea. Uh, I hear that. Uh, my mom gave me the name Little Purse Snatcher because I used to tap her purse all the time. You know what I mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh no. What's going on? Where are you guys coming from? What? Bronx. The Bronx. The BX. The BX. What's your name, sir? Jeff. Jeff. How long have you been skating? Uh, I skate from time to time since I mean I was a teenager. What was that, like 40, 50 years ago? That's what's up, BX? Uh, Astoria. Astoria! The Queensborough! The Queensborough! Where are you going from, bro? Uh, Brownsville. I don't think so. Where are you coming from, bro? Wow, boy, have things changed. If you do live in Brownsville, this is, I mean, anyone from New York understands how much it has changed and how, even though my good friend right here, no words are said, and if you could say, he doesn't say anything, but I love the fact this cracker says he's from Brownsville, off the wall. Skateboarding is all five boroughs. It's been a uh, staple. It's just that it's like an underground secret society like Ninja Turtles. Like if you're working as a teacher or you know any profession and after you're off and you have the passion and love for skateboarding, you're gonna come and do it, you know? Like whether this place or outside, it's just that New York, East Coast, we need an indoor park. We need indoor facility and outside with the awning so when you have snow and shitty weather like we have right now, you can have some place to go, you know? Now listen, kids, nobody gonna tell you what to do with your lives other than you. So take that into consideration like this cocksucker just did. It's your life, live it to the fullest, baby, because it's gonna be over in a heartbeat. So never forget that.